Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Guy, and I am that guy 5.0 back again with another video. So first, man, I just want to apologize for this quality. I'm using my phone today. The batteries of both of my cameras are dead, so just bear with me for today. As y'all see, we're going to get into this, man. I just want to show y'all the new mod that I just got for the Mustang. I'm going to go outside, start her up. See y'all outside, man. So for the mod, we got the end gauge, Lund tuned, finally got the car tuned. We're on a 93 octane tune right now. Uh, looking to go E85. I just want to do some more research on E85 and, and things like that before I go ahead and make that switch. I've read that you can run E85 on these Coyotes with nothing extra. Uh, you can run it on the stock injectors. Only time you need to upgrade your injectors for E85 on the 15 through 17 is if you upgrade the intake manifold but i still got the stock one so like i said i'm gonna do some more research before i go ahead and make that decision and switch over to e85 but definitely would like to do that and so far uh ever since i've had the tune man the car drives great this is the best experience that i've ever had with a tune there's a lot of things that i like about uh the lund tune compared to the bama tune i had in the past on my v6 mustang and one thing i like about the lund the lund tune is when it comes to putting it in drive and sport, when I had my V6 Mustang, the tune only affected drive. Sport was really, you know, nothing, nothing different. But with Lund, if I'm just chilling, driving down the street, cruising, I can put it in drive, I'm fine, I'm good. But then if I want to get crazy, I can put it in sport, car gets louder, shifts harder, at first, I didn't know to put it in sport because I was so used to how my V6 Mustang ran with the tune because you had to keep it in drive, and the drive was where your tune was at. When I put it in drive, at first, I was like, you know, the car feels good, but we're missing something. Then when I put it in sport and I saw the huge difference, Lund is where it's at. And I know that y'all ain't in the car with me, but I'm going to do a little drive so y'all can hear the shift points hear how the car sounds it sounds ridiculously good it shifts good downshifts good and i like this engage man i have it set for my rpms on the shift flight if i'm you know doing manual shifting myself uh i got my knox uh sensor showing i always want to make sure that you have no positive knock and ever since I had this tune, I've had negative on, on knock. So that's good, Lun. Y'all doing your thing. I appreciate y'all. But yeah, man. Uh, let me see if I can find the uh, the old device that I used when I had my V6 Mustang. I think it's somewhere in the back. All right, so I found my old device that I used when I had my V6 Mustang. It says Bamba Performance, but this is the uh, SCT X4. This thing, I don't want to sit here and badmouth it, but it's old. It doesn't run very fast. To load a tune with this thing will literally take 15, 20 minutes. Felt like 30 minutes. It, th this thing is slow. This thing is slow. The end gauge, this thing moves fast. I literally put a uh, put my first tune on on the car using the end gauge. Literally took six minutes, and that includes saving the stock tune on here and putting the new tune, uh, flashing it on the car. End gauge is way way better. Good piece of tech right here. All right, so we got it in drive. Drive is like you know, like I said. It's, t it's still tuned. It's just the car drives really smooth. You know, the shifts are still, you know, a little firm, not too firm, but it's just a good experience. You, you can daily drive this easily in drive mode. The downshifts aren't crazy, but if you put your foot down, you still get that little boost of power that you're looking for. So all around, Drive is like, you know, like I said, the best way I can describe, describe drive is just like, you know, cruising, chilling, relaxing, you 
know, not really looking for trouble. Car still sounds good. I'll let y'all listen as I accelerate. Relaxing, chilling, calm. But as soon as you put it in the sport, it changes instantly. Just popped it in the sport. As y'all heard it already downshifted. You can hear the exhaust note way louder now. Is longer. And you're, you're always in the power band. Downshifts. And I apologize. This is my first time trying to hold the phone and record at the same time while I'm driving. Like I said, y'all bear with me. Let's see if I can get y'all a decent pool over here. to the floor. cartoon most of the s550 crowd if you get this cartoon you might get a check engine light now don't freak out i freaked out but i figured it out it was a p0315 it was a what, crank position something to do with the crank something to do with some type of crank thing i, I don't really know how to explain it to be honest with y'all but if you get that uh, code, like I said, it's P0315. I'll show y'all how to fix it real quick. All right, so on the end gauge, let's see, go to exit gauges. All right, go to, you're gonna go to diagnostic. Just scroll down. To crank relearn. Hit that. Now, I'm not gonna go through it, but you're gonna hit this check mark right here. And then it's gonna give you a list of instructions. It's follow those instructions, it's gonna ask you to hold the uh slowly uh hit the throttle up to 42,000 rpm and then release. That's it, it's self-explanatory. After you do that, just go back, clear the code, and you're good to go. Sometimes this touch screen isn't responsive though. It's one thing I don't like about this N-Gage. This touch screen is not as responsive. Look at that. I love the device, but man, they could have did better with the screen, man. Look at that. There we go. All right, man, but thank y'all for watching. Appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my video today. Y'all take it easy. Y'all be safe out here, man. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace.